Hey guys, welcome into another YouTube video. Uh, in this video, I have updated my uh, Hive OS version to the latest version, uh, and Team Red Miner has done a little bit of updates uh, regarding the like a smoother power flow for the GPUs. Um, and they, I've also updated to the newest NVIDIA drive, sorry, NVIDIA AMD driver. Sorry, I've been thinking about NVIDIA so much recently when I'm with the LHR unlock and updating the drivers on that and everything. So yeah, updated the AMD driver and the Hive OS uh, image on this rig. And yeah, they've improved the power draw. The mega hash is pretty much exactly the same, but the power draw, it was 408. We're now looking at 390 uh, average of around 397 probably I would say around 397 uh, it does uh, spike up to 401 but yeah we'll go with 397 because it gets as low as 395 and then as high as 401.5 or so so Go with 397 and yeah, I'll jump into the software and do all the calculations on the new efficiency for this rig. Hey guys, we're in the software now. So as you can see, been running this just a little while, 18 minutes. We're getting the same mega hash, 231.4. Uh, and as we already saw, we're getting a reduced wattage at the wall. So this is the previous Team Red Miners uh, performance here. And this is the new version of Team Miners team red miners performance here so you can see we've lost 11 watts uh, which just gives us a new efficiency of 0 0.58 mega hash per watt which is crazy efficient the only gpu that can come close uh, is the a2000 which is not a um not a gaming gpu so it's a workstation gpu so it's like limited resale value um, and obviously the CMP 170HX that is absolutely unattainable, uh, just crazy efficient, but also crazy expensive and hard to find. So we won't count that one. <laughs> um, I haven't done the shares per hour or any of that yet because I've only just started running it. Um, but yeah, lost 11 watts for no loss in mega hash. So that's uh, really great. Uh, if you're wanting to do this yourself, all you have to do is run your, so you click on the IP address here to get the shell in the box. Uh, it'll open up like this, then you got to chuck in the username and password. And then the command you want to use uh, is hive-replace. This will replace like everything on your install. It should save your rig config, so you won't have to do all these like overclocks again but uh, yeah it will come up with a warning to say you're going to lose everything uh, and you do need to do it through this screen you can't run it through like a run command here because it does require you to have a bit of feedback like you have to say stuff you have to type yes and click enter and whatnot so yeah the first thing you do is type hive dash replace into right here and then so and then space and you'll have to uh, so if you come to this like hive on.com install you come to the zip file here right click it uh, copy link address and then just paste that link address somewhere so you'll see https uh, forward slash forward slash download blah 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 you can't copy and paste it, or at least I haven't been able to, so uh, you'll have to type it out in full right there. And then after that, just hit enter. And that should um, start doing something. It'll take quite a long time to finish, so uh, be patient. And then once it's done and your rig boots back up, you'll be left with uh, similar savings, presumably to me, about what is it, 1.2 watts per GPU or something. Uh, reduced so yeah that's great uh, extra efficiency is always good for me so yeah if this helped you anyway leave a like comment and subscribe to support the channel and have a great day see ya